Hey, what is up, everyone? My name is Ray Overlord, or Shay, by the way, and I'm here today on Destiny. I'm gonna give you like some sort of tip, or actually some sort of update with the the game. So it'll be about the no time explain in this video. So basically, it's the change rifle with arc damage. And if you want to go ahead and like the video, then go ahead and press the like button. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Let's begin with the video. So basically, we heard about the strange rifle. It's being turned legendary. And also, it can be also converted into an exotic, exotic pulse rifle called No Time Explain. In this case, if you still have it, you probably would need to get it. I mean, if you still have it, you have a chance of getting it out of Tekken King. Not now, but when the full game, as in next week, comes out. So, basically, yes, the Stranger's Rifle is now legendary at, from the update. Yes, if you haven't seen it, I mean, you haven't checked out your updates or update your Destiny game yet, update it now. Or if you have to update and reinstall it, update it again. I mean, restall it and update it now. And basically, you can get Stranger's Rifle again from this quest I'm going to tell you right now. And this is, and I don't know the exact name, but it's going to be from a stranger. So that means it's going to be a quest you can get from a stranger at the tower itself. Along that side, you have to go down straight in the middle of where the arena of Zavala and the other guys are. And you should be able to see your quests on quest to advantage quest, but also get a quest out of World 1 that says something about the stranger, about going to Venus and seeing our new, well, actually our new rescue thing, we're talking about something about the fix, actually. So basically, that's what I wanted to keep in mind. Now, Yes, you're able to get the strange rifle again. You're able to turn on legendary, but if you go to Wikia, it will just say it'll look like a rare. So it will change a few seconds. I mean, it will change sooner or later. But the main perks they have out of this rifle, as of the normal version, aka the legendary version, which is no change, is just the same thing. However, the attack value is different because we're using a new attack system, which should be a little value of 110 or more. I forgot how much those would be. But what you have here is full auto, as in the main perk, and rewind. So basically, you got smooth ballistics, also accurate ballistics, and smart, smart, smart drift control. You also have full auto, and it includes upgrade damage, speed reload, hand loaded, fit stock, rewind, and update, update. Upgrade damage. So you see, smooth ballistics is less recoil but penetrates to the range. Accurate ballistics is more range and impact on increased recoil. Smart drift control is actually predictable and controllable recoil, but it does have a penalty to range. Full auto that means you're able to you're able to fire this in full auto mode, even though it's a pulse rifle. It's the same thing. Pulse rifles can shoot full auto. You don't have to burst. And you will actually tap, obviously. Upgrade damage is obviously everything. Speed reload is reloads this weapon quickly. Hand loaded, this weapon is effective at a center range, so that means it's good for long range combat. Fist stock increases weapon excuse me, increases weapon stability. And we run missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. Now once you upgrade it to the no time explain, which I don't exactly know how to because you were really in the first or well, kinda close in the week again to Taken King. But once you get this weapon, the Stranger's Rifle, you don't want to dismantle it, one, because you might need it, or well, you're going to have to need it for this weapon, and we will actually for this weapon to be turned into an exotic postal code, and that's how I explain it. So, basically, in conclusion about that, will be a different version of well, actually, no time to swing, aka where rewind instead of rewind, it's gonna be a different version of rewind. Instead of missing a shot, missing a precision shot, we'll have a chance to return ammo with Dark Season Rising. So that means you have to be very good at aiming towards the head, or in this case, if you're in the cruise world, you gotta be good at aiming the head. PvE combat, however, depend besides effects, you have to be good at aiming towards the head as well, too, because the effects will have a Precision shot where it's on the buff, the belly, that white shot. Ew. So obviously, yeah. Now, how do you again? How do you upgrade it into the no time explain? I have no idea. We're the only long time show you probably have to do a quest, a narc quest. You probably have to get a relic, maybe. You might. I mean, there are like a lot of rumors on how to do it, but we're not even sure yet because this is not really confirmed. Well, actually, the, the no time explain is confirmed. But how to get it isn't confirmed. We don't know how. But the weird part is you have to keep the, you have to keep the stranger's rifle. Even though it might be legendary, keep the weapon. I mean, yeah, I might be sentimental, but 
trust me if you don't if you don't stay with this gun if you don't have this weapon in your vault get it now if you dismantle it on all three characters you might be doomed i'm not sure if you can do the black iron again actually for the third time i mean if you did it the second time that's okay I mean, that means you're able to get a stranger's rifle well if you did dismantle it the second time i'm not sure you're able to get it again so yeah sorry and the only thing part about this range, the no time plane is it's a arc damaging weapon so the strange rifle was not it should have been in the first time unless you're trying to tease us a little bit but this exotic exotic pulse rifle was something arc damage and isn't that exciting for everyone else to try out i mean come on who don't who denies here don't deny i mean trust me you will not you probably will not regret because you probably will feel the same thing and plus obviously this is his main question it's not the fear of all fools fear of all fools has a different objective to get that weapon you have to do trials for osiris to get well actually it's obtained not only from the trials of osiris and then you have to go back to the crucible with all your matches to be able to get the fair wall rules because a lot of objectives in that quest in that bounty for you to do and get that weapon the fair wall rules the strange i mean the new time to explain different story that's the really different so anyway guys my name is straight over or shape by the way i am about to be out hope you guys enjoyed the video because or well, actually sure of a quick tip i probably will revise this video if you want to see how i can get it because if it was i will tell you but if you did enjoy the video, then go ahead and press the like button. If you're new on my channel and you see more Destiny content as well as Black Ops 3 content, hit that subscribe button and I'll be posting them momentarily daily if I can. But anyway guys, I'm gonna be out and I'll see all you guys later. See you later, Space Cowboy.